Well, it's been a while, um, but I'm back and looking forward to getting things back on track. So welcome to another episode of the Power BI Show. So the March 2018 update to the Power BI desktop is out. And although it doesn't contain as many new reporting features as perhaps we've seen in more recent releases, it does contain one very exciting new preview feature, which is report page tooltips. Now I have to admit this wasn't something that I was aware of was in development, so it came as a complete surprise to me to see it. But I have to admit it does look a cool new feature, and I think it would be well worth taking a look at in today's episode. Okay, so as this is a preview feature, we need to start off by making sure that it's enabled. So we go to File, Options and Settings, Options, and then under Preview Features, we just need to make sure the checkbox against Report Page Tooltips is checked. Okay, so you're probably already familiar with the classic tooltips within Power BI, and that's whereby you hover over a chart and you get this pop-up box that gives you some additional information about the chart that you're looking at. Uh, but what you may not realize is that you can actually customize this to a certain extent by adding some additional fields to the list. Uh, you do that by selecting the chart in question, and you go over to the fields section of the visualizations pane, and then down to this tooltips box, and then you drag in any additional fields that you want to show. So uh, let's say, for example, I want to show sales amount. Uh, let's go for return amount and perhaps return quantity. And then when I go back to the chart and hover over it, I'll see that these additional fields have been added to my tooltips. And that's great. Uh, that's really useful. However, uh, with report page tooltips, that sort of takes the customization to the next level. So with the report page tooltips, what it enables you to do is uh, create an additional page on your report and then use that as the tooltip. Uh, so let's have a take a look at the, the one I've created already. This is sales, a sales tooltip page, and it's just a chart giving me the top five countries by sales. Now they'll link that through to uh, my chart uh, on product category. And here's one, this, this chart is actually set up to use the new report page tooltips. And if I hover over the chart this time, you see that that small uh, report page is replicated there as a tooltip and, and it takes the filter context through with it. So it's changing as I'm going over the different bars and give me that additional uh, top five countries by sales as a tooltip. Okay, so obviously there are some new bits and pieces within the application that support this new feature. So let's start off by taking a look at those. Uh, first up, uh, enabling report page tooltips on a visual. Uh, you select that visual, go to the formatting section and this new tooltips uh, subsection. Now by default, actually, it's, it's probably set to on to use report pages as tooltips uh, and the page that it selects is set to auto. So what that will do is it will automatically uh, find a tooltips page uh, that has one of the the fields that are in in the particular visual. So perhaps I'm, you know if I'd set it to link to on product category or sales amount, uh, and we'll see that in action in a minute. Uh, if you switch that off, then your tooltips will go back to the classic tooltips. Okay, so set that on uh, for the minute. We'll set that to auto. Then we need to create our uh, report page tooltip page. Okay, so on the uh, page I've used, uh, or I've created to, to use as a tooltip, got a couple of additional bits and pieces on there to look at. Under the formatting section and page information, we have a toggle button there to set uh, whether or not to use the page as a tooltip on or off. And we have a new page size of tooltip, so that's why I'm using uh, this particular example, although we can use any size page. Uh, so you could set that up as a custom page and increase the height perhaps to include uh, more countries so maybe if I want to look at like the top uh, seven or eight countries by sales, for example, so we can do that there. Uh, under the fields, we have this tooltip field section, and this is where you uh, link uh, through to on a visual uh, which field triggers uh, this particular tooltip. Um, so that's where we have that auto page selection. Uh, in this example, I've set it to sales amount. So if I go back uh, to sales by category, in this chart I've got sales quantity. Uh, that doesn't trigger it. On this one, I have sales amount. That does trigger it. If I go to uh, back to my uh, report page, tooltip page, and I change that, say, to uh, uh, product category instead, and we can have we can have more than one field in there if you want. But uh, if I set it to product category, now that should um, pick up on both of these charts. Now uh, I probably just need to switch it on on this one. Uh, I had it 
set to off uh, to bring up the classic tooltips. Uh, so if I switch that on now as well. Uh, yeah, so that now brings up on both charts. Uh, and just to prove a point on that, if I if I now change that to sales quantity instead of product category, uh, it should bring it up on this sales quantity chart. The sales amount. Okay, so now we've had a look at the, uh, the new bits and pieces. Let's go through and create a new tooltip page. Uh, so, new page. Uh, go to the uh, formatting section, uh, page information. I'm going to set the tooltip option on and select the page size to start with of tooltip. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, drag a chart onto here. So uh, this time, perhaps we'll look at sales amount by uh, manufacturer. So let's drag a chart. Um, so let's do to uh, bring manufacturer on there and sales amount, and I'm going to link it on uh, product category again. So let's just see how we call that uh, tool tip two. So I go back to my uh, original page. Uh, let's just see what it's bringing up at the moment. I expect it yet to bring up the top five countries, uh, the sales tool tip page on both. I oh know actually on that. On that's right. Yeah. So on there I've set it to on sales quantity and on this one it's product category so yes for the sales quantity one it's bringing up my original uh, top five countries by sales tooltip and on this one it's bringing up the sales amount by manufacturer and again it's taking the filter context through so it's updated on each uh, of the lines or the, each of the bars I, I select in the chart and what I can do actually now is set uh, both of these to use product category. This is where we see the sort of auto uh, feature in action. So now it's bringing up top five countries on both charts because that's obviously the first uh, page that it comes to uh, and they're both set to use product category. Uh, but I can override that uh, action by selecting a particular chart visual, go to formatting, tool tips, and here under the page option, I can actually tell it which pay, uh, tooltip page to bring up. So uh, perhaps for this one, I want to bring up tooltip two now. Uh, that should then bring up my product uh, sales amount by manufacturer. And again, yep, top five countries. So it's working as I would expect. can actually use uh, select more than one field to use as a tooltip link. Uh, so I could bring on there sales quantity, uh, sales amount, and that should now bring up this chart for both. I'm not sure. It still brings up. Yeah. So that's now bringing that tooltip up on both charts uh, by default. Actually, I probably just need to uh, set that back to auto on that chart just to check that's working as I expect. But yeah, nice. No, it's picking up uh, the new tooltip 2 page uh, as I expected. Okay, one last thing I can do is set these two uh, pages uh, as hidden. So that when I publish that out to the Power BI service, those two pages then won't show. Let's try that. Uh, publish, save changes. Uh, publish that out to my workspace. Okay, so this might take a while. I'll come back to that in a second. 
And there we are, that's now uh, published out nicely. I uh, let's see the full screen. Uh, we only have the one uh, page there now. We don't see the report page, tooltip pages as expected. And if I hover over these, I uh, get my tooltips coming up as we saw in the desktop. So there we are, that's it. That's uh, report page tooltips as they are at the moment. As I say, they are in preview at the moment. So uh, we expect to see those develop a little bit more over the next uh, month or two. Uh, I'd be interested to see where Microsoft take those and what additional features they add in there. That's it for today's show. If you enjoyed it or found the content useful, then please hit the like button and please consider supporting the channel by subscribing. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll make. That's it for now though. Until the next time, thanks for watching.